Mia, Samuel of Grenada, Kaylee Ford of Trinidad and Tobago, and Kadeen Johnson of Jamaica. Interestingly, Haynes of Barbados opting out of the 1500 defending champion, deciding instead to go for the 800 meter crown. And uh, so this field pretty much wide open. Yeah, a little bit surprised, Noah Toya Harvey of Guyana either for mm -hmm. this event. And the two Jamaicans very much there, the two fastest in the field, and they would have been the two fastest in the field even if Haynes and Harvey had turned up. Rikisha Sims has run 4 minutes 31.33 this season. She's been very good this year, Rikisha Sims of Jamaica wearing bib 396. She's in fourth position. We're stepping through from the Turks and Caicos Islands. Tanisha Gardner alongside Kadeen Johnson of Jamaica with Kaylee Ford of Trinidad and Tobago in third position. Kaylee Ford on the 17 silver medalist a couple years ago in Kingston and the Trinbegonian moves into second position. Also in this race, of course, uh, the other Hannah Charles, <laughs> Queen School, representing Antigua and Barbuda. We'll be seeing the other Hannah Charles in uh, the 400 finals momentarily. Last year's under-17 champion, Ashlyn Simmons of Barbados, is in the lineup as well, but she is somewhere closer to the back of the field than she is to the front as Johnson takes the field through. This is a very good run from Kaylee Ford of Trinidad and Tobago. The Trinbagonians have looked very good themselves through this championship. Kaylee Johnson leads for Jamaica. Rikisha Sims, favorite, slips into second position. Ford of Trinidad and Tobago is in third. Simmons has gotten herself into fifth position at this stage, but still some way off the pace. They have two laps to run in this final, and the Jamaicans one and two. Sims and Johnson looking very comfortable up at the top there. Johnson out in front, number 374. Knows the danger that Rakeja Sims poses. Has run on the 440 every single race. The field beginning to string out, but here comes Simmons trying to move up. Yeah, Simmons moving through in fifth position at the moment as Johnson continues to lead for Jamaica. Sims in second position. Three races at 1,500 this season for Sims correction. 443, 431 and 430.36 just a week ago at the high school championship. So she is in spectacular form. The under 20 record, 427.48 set by Natoya Gould. Not sure if either of them will test it here, but it's Johnson who's gone out to a really fast pace. And at 1100 meters, she comes through in 321 and a half with Rakesha Sims in second position. This is really fast running in the 1500 final for under 20 girls. The Jamaicans are one and two. There's a strong battle on for the bronze medal. Ford of Trinidad and Tobago holding that position at the moment. The Barbadian, Ashlyn Simmons, the under-17 champion from last year, is moving through and is in fourth position. But it's Johnson of Jamaica who leads. Rakesha Sims in second position. Can Sims deny Kadeen Johnson this gold medal? 200 meters to go. Looking very comfortable, Johnson up front. And uh, Ford uh, looks as though she is uh, going to be able to hold on for the moment. But uh, we can't quite make out what's happening just behind her. The uh, two young ladies giving chase from Turks and Caicos. As we see uh, the challenge manifesting itself from Sims now as they come into the home straight. Sims running uh, side by side and now just ahead of Johnson. She takes over as they head into the final stages of this race. It's going to be Sims, Rakesha Sims winning uh, for Jamaica. It's another Jamaica 1-2. But Sims having given chase much of the race and having allowed her compatriot to maintain the ascendancy for quite a while, eventually taking over 
in the final phase of the race uh, to get the gold. Her second curve to gold medal at the under 20 level in three seasons, 431 94. The 2022 champion becomes the 2024 champion. Didn't have the opportunity to contest the 1500 meters last year, but she returns and returns with a bang. Here's another look at the closing stages. Kenny Johnson setting the pace, taking a healthy lead, but Rakesha Sims running her own race, timing it perfectly and striking in the home stretch. Kaden Johnson tried to rally even after she had been passed, but Rakesha Sims comfortable, composed, beautiful form, easing across the line in four minutes, 31.91. And the 2022 champion becomes the 2024 champion as well. And again, the Jamaicans go one, two, off shot. They're not quite sure who crossed the line to take the bronze medal. I think it we'll was get Ford, Ford, managing, Ford managing to hold on uh, despite a brave challenge from Simmons um, who passed to Gardner uh, and uh, coming into the home street, Ford, uh, you saw the throwing her hands aloft as uh, she crossed the line and uh, managed to capture that bronze medal, another medal for Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, 441 the bronze medal winning time for Kaylee Ford. Under 17 silver two years ago and showing real quality in the 1500. The Jamaicans 1 2, Sims 4 31 94, Johnson 4 32 49. The Jamaicans 3 from 3 in the 1500s.